Hi there, it's Carl Kwan here from PresentationExpressions.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about screen capture presentation tips. Now, why would you even need to know about screen capture presentations? Well, because there are times when maybe you can't actually personally deliver a presentation. This happens a lot. It's actually more common than you might think. So, for example, in business, you might be wanting to give instructions or a sales presentation to your customers. So you don't have to go there to do it. You can just make a screen capture presentation of you talking and giving instructions or your presentation to your customers. Really simple to do. The next is maybe if you're a teacher, a professor of some sort maybe, and you want to give material for your students to review or to learn on their own. So this is a great way also to capture lessons and give it to them so they can you know, consume those lessons after the class is finished. A third reason to use a screen capture is for work. So for example, if you're trying to help your colleagues to understand something or to learn something new, you can always make a screen capture video to show them how to do something. So really great for that as well. So in this video, I'm going to cover three different areas. I'm going to talk about software that you need, hardware that you might want to use, and also tips for better screen capture presentations. In fact, I'm going to have five of them. So let's get on to software. So as far as software is concerned, what you need is a screen capture software. And there are two types that we recommend. First, if you're using a PC, we recommend Camtasia. For the PC, this is a $299 piece of software. Not that cheap, but it is fantastic. And for the Mac, it's also good as well. It's only $99. And the reason it's $99 is because of the software that I am using, which is ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is also fantastic, and it is $99. So that is basically the software that you need. They're really simple to use. You can pretty much do anything. You can even you know edit regular video with these as well. So they're really good for that too. So moving on to hardware. Hardware, this is something that if you're going to do audio with your presentation, which is really important, you're going to want to use a USB microphone. So you can use something on the left, which is a headset microphone, which is highly recommended because they're very convenient and easy to use. Or you can use what I'm using right now, which is exactly that mic in the picture. Okay, that's what I'm using. That is a USB microphone as well. It's a little bit more bigger, of course, and it's more cum cumbersome, more bigger, that's not really good English. But in any case, it's bigger, it's a little bit cumbersome. So personally, I think I'd rather go with a headset microphone that would probably be my next purchase. And another sort of optional thing for you here is to get a secondary monitor. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, you'd want to do this if you want to have your notes on your main computer on your laptop, for example, like that's a picture of my laptop. That's not my monitor, unfortunately. But you would have your notes on one monitor and then you could you could record on the second one. So that is pretty much what you need for hardware. A microphone, absolutely essential, or maybe a monitor, that's something optional. So let's get on to the five tips for better screen capture presentations. So number one is to make sure that you edit your script or edit whatever you want to say until you're only talking about the core message that you have. Maybe it's a lecture, you want to make sure that you're not, you know, talking too much about stuff that they don't really need to know. Really important there because they'll get bored. Okay, second thing is to keep it really short. You want to make sure that your screen capture doesn't take more than say three to five minutes. The reason being that people is because people get bored. If it is going to be longer, then maybe you want to make an extra video. So make a couple of them. But if it's really important and you're and you're very good at telling the story or something like that, then a longer video is okay. Maybe up to say 10 minutes, it would be maximum. But I would say keep it to five minutes if possible, because really you don't want someone sitting there for 10 minutes watching your video, okay? Number three, make sure you practice so that your delivery is going to be smooth. It's really bad if it sounds like you don't know what you're talking about, especially if it's for business. So you want to practice that as much as possible. For academic stuff, maybe you, you can get away with not practicing too much because you might think of something new that you want to say while you're giving the presentation, and that's fine too. Number four, make sure that you smile and have good energy when you are doing this because people can hear you smile. It's really true they can hear you smile. I'm a voice actor, so I know how important it is to smile when you talk and also to have good energy when you're doing this. Otherwise, people get bored as well and they think, hey, this guy's not even interested in what he's saying to us. So really important there. And the fifth thing is to make sure you do it in a quiet room. Right now, this room here, there's nobody else here right now, so it's okay. You might have heard you know, maybe some buzzing noise in the background, but it's not so bad. What you can do if it is kind of noisy is maybe use a couple of pillows and line them up either alongside your head or, you know, alongside your microphone to kind of block out the noise, which is what I would usually do 
if there was a sort of extra noise in the room. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That was screen capture presentation tips. I talked about three different things. Number one, about the software you can use. Number two, about the hardware that you can use. And number three, I give you five tips for better screen capture presentations. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know if you have any questions about that. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.